Today's another day at Putt Lake. It's gorgeous out, it's sunny. We started the day off with a bang. We went to the Eagle Nest. I didn't see anything at first. I got my binoculars out. And as I was leaving, the Eagle landed on a branch. So I took a bunch of shots, a bunch of video. It was awesome. And if that's how the day's starting, I'm excited for the rest of it. Guys, we just pulled up to the nest spot, spotted an eagle in the tree. I'm gonna get out, hopefully it stays there. I'm really excited, it's in a perfect spot. Let's go find it. I sort of forgot where it is, but I'm just gonna walk along the road. I hope I find it. Oh, I see it, I see it. I'm walking right up to There was an ambulance that drove by and it flew off. I guess the noise was too loud and it got spooked, but I got to take pictures of it for a little while, so I'm happy. I was so lucky to spot that eagle. I can't even believe that. I took a break and I went home for a while and I was pulling into Putt Lake and to get to Putt Lake, you drive by the nest and it was just perched in the tree in the sunlight. It was so cool to see, perfect timing. Glad I got some shots of it. Thank you. Wow. You guys didn't know they were here before? No, I do, but I did. It's just, oh man. I didn't really want to come into your property. I've seen them here. Wow. They're amazing. You know birds, and I'm gonna guess that you do. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, that's why they like it. They love dead trees. Do you see the pose? Do you see it posing? I can't believe it. This is awesome. Because he's sitting like that. Yeah, the pose is so cool. I can't believe they're so like okay with us. Like they're not even bothered. No, at least not today. Oh my. I gotta switch to one shot. Yeah. I think that's a youngster. That that one up there is. You know what? Their heads turn all white and their tails when they're five. Okay. Right, so, so when it's, it's marbled, youngster. it's yeah. from one to five. Yeah. Oh. So, it seems like uh, every now and then there's definitely like a, a youngster. There is one, around. a young one. Where is he? He's right up here. Yeah. That's the young one. Uh -huh. He's probably, I would say, three and a 
and a half, possibly. Yeah, that looks about right. It's, it's, yeah, it's like dead fish, but yeah, yeah it's yeah. like rotted. Come on, come on, guys. <laughs> but at least you get to enjoy it, which no, is really absolutely. nice. Yeah, I see it all the time. Wow. Yeah, you're lucky. Well, thank you for letting us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Some people don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. That's got to be a male. It's so skinny. Yeah, I think it's the male because he's much tinier than her. Yeah. And she's probably on the nest. Wow. What a beautiful bird. There were two eagles in the tree. The juvenile is still there. We think that one's like three and a half years old, but the adult was lower, took a bunch of pictures. He flew off, he was fishing. And now I'm just taking pictures of the juvenile. I think I'm gonna head out though. I got a bunch of good shots. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Hello, pup. Hello, pup. You're a cute pup. What you guys just saw are bits and pieces of probably the craziest 30 minutes of my wildlife photography career. I can't even believe it. It all started with me driving and I see this lady get out of her car with this huge camera lens. So naturally, I want to turn around and go talk to her. So as I do that, I see why she got out of her car. There's an eagle in the tree. So I slowly approach and I start talking to her and we're taking pictures and she's like, do you see the second eagle? And I'm like, what second eagle? And there's two in the tree. So we keep taking pictures and she's basically saying that the guy whose property it is has let her into the property once before to take pictures of the eagles, but he wasn't outside. He was nowhere to be seen. But about five minutes later, I look to the left and the neighbor is outside. So I'm like, I got to approach him and I approach him and he's the nicest guy ever. I say, excuse me. And he's like, hi. And I say, do you see the Eagles? And he's like, yeah, come on in. He saw me with my camera and he was like, take as many pictures as you'd like. You're welcome here anytime. Just park in the driveway and take pictures. I was like, oh my gosh. So we're all sitting there and me and her are taking pictures and we're talking to this guy. And it was like, it was the best experience ever. It was so cool. The eagle was posing, this crazy pose with his wings open. And there was the juvenile. It was about three and a half years old. We were taking pictures of both of them. And this guy's just talking to us. And I just met both these people for the first time today. The timing was insane. If I didn't see that lady get out of her car, I wouldn't have stopped. And I wouldn't have seen the eagle. And if that guy, fun fact, he said he got here today. It's his summer home. And he opened it today. So if this was any other day, like in the past, none of this would have happened. He wouldn't have been there and we wouldn't have been on the property to see the eagles. And we got so close and took so many good pictures. It was amazing. I spotted another two eagles in this tree, but it's actually the same two I saw about an hour ago. So instead of taking pictures of them, I think I'm just gonna get the binoculars and observe from far because I don't want to disturb them and they're not really in a good spot anyway, so. I just pulled up to the eagle nest and I was looking with my binoculars and I didn't really see anything, but I left my windows open and I just heard them calling to each other. So I'm going to go check it out real quick. Right when I finished taking that video, the eagle flew from the nest. I was just looking at it with binoculars and I didn't even see it. So it flew to a different tree. I'm going to go check it out, see if I can get some shots. This is another encounter where it's so far away and not really in a good spot. So I'm just going to check it out with the binoculars, not even take my camera and just stay where I am because I really don't want to disturb it. The nest is right behind me. It's right around sunrise and I was driving around the lake and an eagle flew right in front of me and landed on a tree and I realized it was having some breakfast. So I got a bunch of shots of that and I'm just watching it in the tree with my binoculars.
I'm at one of my ruddy duck spots and I can confidently say the mission's over. I got some really nice looking pictures in the morning light. I'm happy with them. They're crisp, they're clear. So now I can leave them alone. Something I find so cool about these birds is that they all sort of hang out. Like we got two Canada geese, we got four mallards, and there's a ruddy duck about to pop his head up. In my car with the binoculars looking at the nest, and then I turn my binoculars over here, and I see the eagle. I don't have the best angle right now, but she's in a pretty tough spot where I can't really get a good picture. But I took one or two just to show you guys where she's at. And I'm saying she because she's massive. And you can tell the males from the females because the females are like 25% larger in both size and weight. I'm sure you guys recognize this spot by now, but I was just sitting here in my chair with my binoculars and camera. And I did see a juvenile bald eagle earlier, but I was just sitting here chilling out. And I actually photographed a brand new species that I've never seen before, the Eastern Phoebe. So that was cool. And then I was just sitting here and a juvenile and an adult bald eagle started like going at it in midair. I'm not sure if they were fighting or if they're mates, but I don't know how that would work because it's a juvenile. So it was awesome. I got some cool pictures. Hope you guys like them. I was just driving and I saw a juvenile bald eagle in the air. So of course I pulled over, got out of my car, started snapping away, but all of the stars aligned and I took one of the best pictures of my life. I'm very happy with it. I'm amazed I even took it still. I can't believe it. So before I took that photo, I did see that the moon was sort of in view. I took a different picture with the moon pretty close to where the eagle was, but I just sat there praying. I was like, please, please fly in front of it. Please fly in front of it. And literally 45 seconds later, it did that. And I, st I just can't believe it. I'm sitting at the tree where I met that guy and girl the other day. Over there. This eagle's just been sitting there for probably 45 minutes. Doesn't mind me at all. So I've been snapping away, getting a ton of pictures. In the air right across the lake right now, one of the juveniles is flying around. But about 10 minutes ago, I was at that beach over there and he or she, I think she, cause it's a massive eagle, was just flying in circles about 30 feet above me for like five minutes straight. It was amazing. I got really close shots of it in flight. So that's good. And I got to practice my in-flight photo skills. So win-win. Brand new day on Putt Lake. And a little while ago, I finished taking some shots of an eagle and I drove around the lake and now there's a great blue heron in the tree over there. So I'm taking pictures of it. But then on those plants right there, a song sparrow jumped like right in front of the sun and was singing. And I got a shot of its breath, which was really cool. Um, and I just saw another eagle fly above. It might have been the same one, but this is the spot. A couple hours ago, I went to that tree on that guy's property and there was the juvenile bald eagle there and he was having some breakfast. So I got some pictures of that, but I'm here now. It's like a little past 1 p.m. and I see another one in the tree. So I'm gonna go check it out. That eagle I saw in the tree ended up being the other juvenile. So I saw both juveniles in the same tree in the same day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I ended up taking some shots of it for like 10 minutes and then I went on my way. And with that, that makes seven days of photographing wild bald eagles. It was an amazing week. We took some awesome shots. We took some of the best shots of my life. So if you guys enjoyed it, 
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I post every Friday at 10 a.m., so be tuned for the next video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.